The Secret Service now says there was no threat to the president or anyone else, but D.C.'s police chief was worried. A tipster reported a Pennsylvania man with weapons and ammo was making threats and headed to the Trump Hotel. And they found him with the guns and the ammo in his car, and he checked into the hotel. Bruce Lachan is live on Pennsylvania Avenue. And Bruce, do we know what this guy was planning to do? Police really still looking at that, Leslie, and they admit that they don't have enough evidence at this point to charge him with making threats. But the chief says what he was allegedly saying, a guy named Brian Moles, to a tipster was enough to make the chief very, very concerned. Hello, uh, this is Brian Moles checking in at home over here at my uh, business, Burrow Canine and Service. Brian Moles, 43, from a small town near Erie, Pennsylvania. Someone he was texting and exchanging voicemails with called Pennsylvania State Police overnight, saying the ER doc and sometime dog trainer had been referencing Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh and that he was headed to the Trump Hotel in D.C. armed with weapons and ammo. The Pennsylvania police alerted D.C. cops and the Secret Service and when the officers arrived, police say they found his car in the garage with a Bushmaster AR-15 assault-style rifle in plain view. When they searched the car, police say they found a 40 caliber Glock handgun and 90 rounds of ammunition. Do you have any intel as to what he intended to do with those weapons? We're, we're going to do a thorough examination if we can get to the motive as to why. It is unclear if Moles was legally entitled to carry the weapons in Pennsylvania, but police say he wasn't in D.C. They've charged him with possession of unregistered ammunition and carrying a firearm without a permit. I can tell you this, uh, I was very concerned about this circumstance, a uh, very peculiar circumstance. Uh, and I, I, I believe that the officers and, and, and our federal partners, and in particular the tipster coming forward, uh, averted a potential disaster. President Trump opened the hotel just before the election and has visited it repeatedly in the days since then. Now, Bowles is a former Navy corpsman, and some sources are suggesting he may have been struggling with PTSD. His online profile suggests he is a big fan of President Trump and no fan of Hillary Clinton. Live at the Trump International Hotel in downtown D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. Well, Moles failed to make the cutoff to go before a judge today. He will probably appear tomorrow, and at that point, we're likely to bring you more answers. The FBI.